Hey Tiger fans, Mark Fitzpatrick, Titan Club of Kansas City. It's Tuesday, March 3rd at the Westport Flea Market. Today, we took a break from college sports and had in Therese Paler of Yahoo Sports, senior NFL writer and a Pro Football Hall of Fame voter and a former Mizzou <laughs> beat writer for the Kansas City Stars. That's Good right. To, great to have you back. Hey, thanks for having me. I obviously got fond memories of being in this room come from the Missouri Tigers, so anytime you guys ask me to come, I'm, I'm more than willing. Okay, well, uh, I haven't stopped talking about the Super Bowl for you six weeks, where, but I want to go back to what you think, the Jet Wasp play, everybody talks about the turning point, yeah. but watching that game, mid-fourth quarter, I'm thinking, 49ers keep getting with to Patrick with a four-man rush, right. what are we going to do to stop that and give him time to throw? What, what happened in the fourth quarter? I always say this. The Kansas City Chiefs under Patrick Mahomes are like the 91 Chicago Bulls. They've got the best player on the field, and no matter how much you get up by, the run is coming. Remember the Bulls used to get down by 20 in the third yeah. quarter? But you'd still be terrified because you're like, you know MJ's about to start now. Mahomes has the same gene. It's the same type deal. So basically what happened is they started getting a little momentum, and they never quit. That's one great thing about having a great quarterback who rallies his teammates or just who you believe can make plays when plays shouldn't be able to be made. You keep playing hard. You stay together because you really do believe that the quarterback can bring you back. So I think they just stayed together. And that team had already been through so much as far as like, I mean, they came back from 24 down. You know, like the week before they come like, so they know who they are. They know who they're led by. You don't have to worry about the Chiefs splintering during a game because they know the quarterback can get it done. It was a remarkable, remarkable postseason. You uh, picked Patrick on your all-juice team, yeah. 2017, when he was coming out of the draft. What did you see in him that stood out? Um, the moxie of Favre, the arm talent of Favre, the, the elusiveness of a Manziel or Tarkenton. And honestly, you know, that, that's hard to find. When Patrick was looking to run, he was looking to run the throw. So he was a guy who was capable of beating you with his arm and his legs. And then I had a chance to visit with him Super Bowl week, like three three months before the draft. And I'm like, wow, he's really mature. I remember, I remember, I'll never forget this. During Super Bowl week, his agents, um, Lee Steinberg and Chris Cabot, walked him through Radio Row. And he was doing interviews with stations all over the country. Did it for like four hours. And I was like right at the end of it. And like he was as patient and as friendly and as cool as you could be. And I'm like, this guy must really love football. Because after being asked bad questions for four hours, I certainly wouldn't be as good as this guy. Um, that's when I realized, all right, this might be a special person. Then you turn on the tape and you see the talent. You're like, good God, this guy is amazing. So yeah, he had some little issues he needed to clean up. But um, putting him with Andy Reid. Yeah, you know that's yeah. that's a dream. We are blessed, and it should be a long run. We hope everybody yeah. stays healthy. You just got back from the NFL Combine. Mm -hmm. uh, give us thoughts on what you think the Chiefs will do in the draft. I think they entertain the trade down. Um, I think this is a really strong draft. I think they'll still get a really good player if they trade down to the mid first round. Um, and they need extra picks because the cap space will be tight. And the best value in pro football are draft picks because you got them cheap for four years. So that's the key. Um, I think they understand that. I think they're going to try and really hammer home nailing their draft picks to help keep Chris Jones, to help keep you know some of these Patrick Mahomes, Sammy Watkins. I think they want to keep Watkins. They want to keep Jones. Not saying they will. I think they want to. But the big key to that, both this year and in the future, and guys like them, is going to be hitting on your draft picks who will be cheap for four years. So I think they'll move down. If they don't move down, corner, linebacker, interior offense, well, just offensive line period, maybe even receiver. I think all those things could be in play. It's a deep receiver draft. It is, it's a great receiver. Maybe the best in a decade. So, uh, last question at the combine, a couple of Mizzou players who look to go well in the draft, Jordan Elliott and yeah. Albert O, both possibly top 100 picks. Yeah, one thing important to remember about Albert O, super athlete. And now more than ever, your tight end's got to be able to run and catch and do things. You know, like George Kittle, you got to be a great athlete in that position. If you have that in you, Teams think they can build you and mold you and, and really make you a real weapon. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him go in the top 100. Elliott, really quick off the ball, um, you know, has a little bit of jolt in his hands. I like him as a player. Um, I, I think the ability to rush the passer or at least create a little pressure on the passer is now imp more important at that position than ever because it's such a pass heavy lead despite what some teams have done running the ball. So, you know, another top 100 player, maybe second round. Um, you know, th those guys I think are the best that Missouri's got to offer this year. But I do think they'll go relatively high. Okay. 
Kansas City is blessed to have some of the best sports drivers in the country, <laughs> and you are certainly at the Thank top. You. Thank you very Appreciate much. You, this guy knows the NFL better than anybody. So check him out. Twitter handle at Therese Paler. Thank you for coming out. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, man. folks, next week, Vahe Gregorian, the award-winning columnist from the Kansas City Star. Please check our website for more information about our golf tournament April 20th at Lakewood Oaks, also on membership, and that is kctigerclub.com.